Pat Sajak is renowned for his role as the charismatic host of the iconic game show Wheel of Fortune, a position he has held since 1981. His tenure on the show has made him a household name, characterized by his quick wit and effortless rapport with both contestants and the show's co-host, Vanna White. Pat's ability to keep the game engaging and entertaining, often with a playful sense of humor and a knack for lighthearted banter, has been a significant factor in the show's enduring popularity. However, after over four decades as the charming and quick-witted host of Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak has announced his retirement from the show. Pat's decision to retire has left fans and industry insiders speculating about his motives. While Pat's announcement has sparked a lot of theories, from health concerns to the desire for a quieter life, at 77, the television icon has finally opened up about the true reason behind his departure. Join us as we uncover the true reasons behind the beloved TV host's monumental decision to depart from the show. In his final episode, which aired June 7th, Pat shared a special message to the millions who have tuned in for decades. I've always felt that the privilege came with a responsibility to keep this daily half hour a safe place for family fun. No social issues, no politics, nothing embarrassing, and I hope, just a game. But gradually it became more than that. A place where kids learn their letters, where people from other countries hone their English skills, where families came together along with friends and neighbors and entire generations, he said. What an honor to have played even a small part in all that. Thank you for allowing me into your lives. During his farewell, Pat spoke about how much he appreciated meeting so many different contestants during his time helming the show. Every time we taped a show, I met three new people from all parts of this wonderful country and the world who were kind and considerate, who rooted for each other, who took great pride in talking about their family, their hometown, their friends, their schools, their jobs, even their pets, he said. In the end, they were the real stars of the show. Pat also shared a special note of gratitude for his co-host Vanna White during his final episode. To my professional other half, dear Vanna, like me, she takes the show very seriously, but not herself, he began. We've seen a lot of changes in each other's lives over the years, but we've always been there for each other. Pat's exit has stirred up a lot of emotions among his followers on social media, with many feeling a mix of sorrow at his departure and recognition of his right to a deserved break. Pat's choice to step down from his role wasn't a shock to those who've been keeping up with his journey. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight in September 2022, he subtly hinted at his nearing conclusion to his time on the show, contemplating the show's long run and his sense of fulfillment in being a part of many lives. Even though he's planning to step away from the limelight, Pat won't be leaving Wheel of Fortune completely. He has agreed to stay involved with the show as a consultant for three years after his retirement as the host. This arrangement guarantees that his knowledge and experience will continue to impact the show, although in a new role. Let's take a look back at Pat's journey to stardom as the host of one of TV's most beloved game shows. Patrick Leonard Sajak was born on October 26, 1946, in the city of Chicago, Illinois. He came from a family that wasn't very well off, and his early years were filled with simple beginnings. The letter D in the name Sajak might seem odd, but it was intentional. Pat Sajak's family name was originally Sajdak, a Polish name that shows his ancestry. He spent his childhood on the west side of Chicago with his Polish-American parents, though he didn't have a very close relationship with his dad, Leonard Sajdak, or his dad's side of the family. When he was still young, his parents split up, and his mom, Joyce Sajdak got remarried to Walter Backel in 1956. Pat's dad worked in a factory, but he died when Pat was still a kid, leaving Joyce Sajdak to take care of him. Pat went to Farragut High School in Chicago and graduated in 1964. Following his high school years, he continued his studies at Columbia College, Chicago. Pat Sajak's fascination with television entertainment started when he was a kid, watching Jack Parr on The Tonight Show. I would sometimes get out of bed at night, not to hang out with the boys or drink beer, but just to watch The Tonight Show and see what Jack had planned," Pat shared in an interview with the Hoover Institution, a public policy think tank at Stanford University. 
In his time in college, Pat had a job as a desk clerk at the Palmer House Hotel, but his journey in the media world changed drastically after he won a prize on WLS Radio's Dick Biondi show to guest host as a teen DJ. This win sparked a passion for him in the field of broadcasting. Pat Sajak's first steps into the media scene happened when he enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1968 and was deployed to Vietnam, where he worked as a disc jockey on Armed Forces Radio. His signature sign-off, Good Morning Vietnam, gained widespread recognition through Robin Williams in the movie Good Morning Vietnam. Following his time in the military, Pat pursued a career in radio, later moving into television as a meteorologist for different local stations, setting the stage for his later achievements in the field of television presenting. Upon leaving the Army in 1970, Pat faced challenges in securing consistent employment. He eventually secured a position at NBC's Nashville affiliate, WSM, where he served as a DJ on its radio station and as a staff announcer on its TV channel. He frequently stepped in as a stand-in for the main newscasters, making him the clear pick when the weekend weatherman departed. By that point, he had removed the D from his name, as the anglicized version of Sajak didn't have a D sound and often led to confusion when trying to pronounce his name. Pat's sense of humor attracted the eye of KNBC, the NBC station in Los Angeles, which in 1977 hired him as a weatherman. As Pat took over the weather forecast for the West Coast's center of media attention, his skills were recognized by major figures in the industry, including Parr, who wrote him a letter of commendation, Merv Griffin, who brought Jeopardy, the original series from 1964 to 1975, and Wheel of Fortune, which is still on air since 1975, to life, also took notice of Pat. In 1981, Wheel of Fortune was in need of a new presenter, and Griffin convinced NBC to give Pat the gig. Although there was some initial resistance because Pat was not widely known, he ultimately got the job. He stepped into the role as the host of Wheel of Fortune on December 28, 1981. On that day, the show introduced a new feature called the Bonus Round. This round allowed the winning contestant to increase their winnings by solving an extra puzzle. As the show's main host, Pat frequently appeared off screen, guiding the players during the game and giving commentary for the viewers. He worked alongside Susan Stafford, his former co-host who was present throughout the game standing next to the letterboard, unveiling each letter as the contestants announced them. When Susan Stafford departed the show in 1982 to explore a career in clinical psychology, she was succeeded by Vanna White. In September 1983, Wheel of Fortune switched to nighttime syndication while continuing its daytime broadcast on NBC with the goal of increasing its audience. However, only a few local stations initially took up the show due to its time slot. It filled half of a one-hour time slot and stations were left to figure out how to fill the other half. To complement Wheel of Fortune in the slot, Griffin spearheaded a comeback for Jeopardy, with Canadian presenter Alex Trebek taking over as its new host, and made the show available for syndication in 1984. This strategy proved effective. By 1986, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy had become the first and second most popular programs, with Wheel of Fortune as the leading program in syndication. Pat Sajak's popularity spread quickly across the nation following the syndication of Wheel of Fortune, leading to him being invited to other roles. He co-hosted the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade from 1984 to 1986. In 1989, he was approached to host The Pat Sajak Show, a late-night program on CBS that lasted till 1990. During the brief period of the show, Jack Parr, who had stepped down from hosting late-night shows in 1965, made an appearance. To secure a spot at CBS, Pat had to part ways with NBC, which also meant the end of Wheel of Fortune's time on daytime TV and his connection to the network that started his TV career. Leaving NBC and taking on a new show were just some of the significant shifts in Pat's life. In 1989, he also adopted the name Sajak as his official name, and tied the knot with Leslie Brown. During the 1990s, 
Pat delved deeper into the realm of broadcast entertainment, choosing to invest in media that resonated with him personally, rather than focusing on those that promised high returns. In 1998, he secured the rights to operate WNAV, an AM radio station in Annapolis, Maryland, which quickly became a key asset of his enterprise, Sajak Broadcasting Corporation. By 2005, the corporation had also acquired the rights to operate another AM radio station, WTTR, in Westminster, Maryland. A few years following this acquisition, Pat decided to part ways with both stations. In the end, the rights to operate WTTR were sold in 2013 for $325,000, while those for WNAV were sold in 2021 for a surprisingly low price of $1,000. Pat contributed $100,000 towards the relocation of WNAV from the property he intended to sell. Pat Sajak also established Pat Productions and Bojack Records, which are small businesses dedicated to providing ideas and materials for both the TV and music sectors. A significant portion of Pat's work beyond Wheel of Fortune has mirrored his traditional beliefs. He has expressed his disapproval of the entertainment industry's culture and has been particularly outspoken about his political views. In 2015, he shared his thoughts with the Wall Street Journal, even a game show host has as much right as anyone to babble about anything he wants to. My only objection is the bait and switch. It just kills me when someone's on a talk show to promote a movie, and I've got to sit through saving the whales first. I like whales as much as the next guy, especially filleted. They're really tasty. In 2003, Pat Sajak was appointed to the Board of Trustees at Hillsdale College a traditional liberal arts school that prides itself on being entirely self-sufficient from government funding, which it believes is a key part of its prestige. By 2019, Pat Sajak had taken on the role of chair for the board. Beyond his status as the longest tenured host of a game show on American TV, Pat has earned a variety of honors for his contributions, such as the People's Choice Award, 1987, the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Game Show Host in 1993, 1997, and 1998, and the Daytime Emmy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2011. He was also honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1994. Pat Sajak is a well-known figure in the television industry, with a career spanning over three decades as an actor, game show host, and personality. He boasts a net worth of over $75 million, a testament to his success and popularity. His role as the host of the iconic game show Wheel of Fortune has seen him in the spotlight for over 40 years, since its inception in 1981. His position as one of the highest earning television personalities is further highlighted by his annual salary of $15 million. Despite the high stakes, Pat Sajak and his co-host White only film Wheel of Fortune for four days each month. This might seem like a small workload for such lucrative pay, but considering that there are four shoot days in a month, it's clear that the job demands a great deal of energy and dedication. The completion of a season for Wheel of Fortune requires 195 episodes. Furthermore, Pat Sajak and White have ventured into a spin-off series titled Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, which premiered in 2021 showcasing their versatility and continued success. In addition to his role on the show, Sajak also benefits significantly from the licensing of his image for the Wheel of Fortune slot machine, a venture that brings in around $15 million in royalties and licensing fees each year. Pat Sajak's private life has seen a mix of consistency and significant events. He has been wed on two occasions. His initial union was with Cheryl Sajak, which concluded with their divorce in 1986. Following that, in 1989, Pat married Leslie Brown, who was a photographer and a former model. The couple, who have been together for a long time, first crossed paths in 1988 through mutual friends, though their bond began as a simple friendship. Over time, their feelings for each other grew, and by the next year, they tied the knot. Together, they have two children, a son, Patrick Michael James Sajak, who was born in 1990, and a daughter, Maggie Marie Sajak, born in 1995. 
Maggie has taken her father's path into the spotlight, venturing into country music and making occasional appearances on Wheel of Fortune. Pat Sajak and his family live in Severna Park, Maryland, and also have a second residence in Los Angeles, California, showcasing his extensive career in the entertainment industry. Despite his prominent position, Pat has managed to keep his private life relatively hidden, maintaining a low-key presence when not on screen. Pat Sajak is recognized for his conservative political stance and has engaged in numerous philanthropic efforts. He is a member of the Board of Trustees at Hillsdale College, a private college known for its conservative values in Michigan. Moreover, Pat is a passionate sports enthusiast, especially baseball and hockey, often expressing his love for these sports to his followers. Throughout his life, Pat Sajak has shown dedication to his family, professional life, and personal convictions, skillfully managing his public duties while keeping a private and grounded personal life. Concerns about Pat's latest news are still widespread, with some hinting it might be connected to his health scare back in 2019, which required urgent emergency surgery due to a severe blockage in his intestine. This situation was so critical it made him think about his death. It was a major turn in his life, marked by sudden and unbearable stomach pain that rapidly worsened into a critical health issue. This prompted an immediate operation to clear the blockage in the intestine, a situation that if left untreated, could have been fatal. The ordeal was deeply impactful for Pat, whom he referred to as being overwhelmed by a surge of intense and unsettling pain, leading him to contemplate his own death and how his possible demise would affect his loved ones. This vulnerable period showed a less familiar aspect of Pat Sajak to the general public. Pat Sajak's recovery was a return to a familiar life, but one he now cherished more deeply. His comeback on Wheel of Fortune was celebrated not just for his own comeback spirit, but also for the support he received from his co-host, Vanna White, who took over as the host when he was away. This time underscored the power of their teamwork and the show's backing system that guaranteed its ongoing success even during his recovery. Pat entered his work with a deeper sense of thankfulness and a fresh enthusiasm for life. Being faced with a serious illness led him to reflect on what truly mattered, making the importance of time, health, and family even clearer. Pat Sajak shared that his choice to leave was to dedicate more precious moments to his family and to reduce the show's pressures on his life. At 77 years old, he mentioned that it was the time for his retirement, a feeling he made official in his last statement last year. On June 27, 2023, it was revealed that Ryan Seacrest would succeed Pat Sajak as the new host of Wheel of Fortune. Seacrest's tenure will begin in the 2024 to 2025 season, following Sajak's 41-year run on the program. Sony Pictures Television has confirmed that Seacrest, who is also recognized for his work on American Idol and Live with Kelly and Ryan, has agreed to a multi-year contract and will also act as a consulting producer for the show. Sajak has endorsed this decision, showing faith in Seacrest's capacity to uphold the show's tradition with Vanna White, who is expected to stay on the show until at least the 2025 to 2026 season. Following the departure of Pat Sajak, behind the scenes chaos erupted over what could be happening with Vanna White's role on the show. It's been leaked that White, who has been a staple on the show and a key player in its popularity, hasn't seen a pay rise in almost 20 years. This has put her in the middle of a heated negotiation over her contract for the 2023 to 2024 season. White is pushing back against the pay gap, especially when contrasted with Pat's impressive $15 million yearly pay, which highlights the stakes at play. She sought out Brian Fredman, a lawyer with a reputation for handling big name clients, to support her position as negotiations heat up However, White already extended her contract in September through the 2025 to 2026 season and will help guide Sajak's replacement, Ryan Seacrest, at least through his first two seasons as the host of the show. With Seacrest set to take over in June 2024, excitement is growing among fans of the show. This change signals an opportunity to continue the Wheel of Fortune's rich history while introducing a fresh chapter under Seacrest's leadership, 
aiming to keep the show's enduring charm and popularity.